friends and welcome back to the vlog today is tuesday april the 16th i have an early morning appointment this morning at my ob office it was technically going to be at 10 a.m but they called me yesterday and said they had a cancellation at 7 45 a.m and asked if i could be here at that time instead of who i'm sure um i actually like these early morning appointments i was able to sneak out of the house the only ones awake was Allie and millie um josh was leaving for work and usually if i have an early morning appointment i will bring home chicken minis from Chick-fil-A so I know they're gonna be excited for that for when they wake up this morning but anyway I'm about to go in because I got here right on time this morning um but it's my 37 week checkup today so it should be just a really quick appointment um just to check on baby check on me blood pressure all the things but before I go in here real quick I wanted to tell y'all that I woke up last night around 1 30 a.m 1 40 a.m with what I thought was a contraction. Like I was asleep, so when I woke up, I don't know if it was just cause, I don't know, it just, it felt like a contraction. So once I got woke up, um, I went to the bathroom, came laid back down, and then I laid there for a little while and felt another one. So I laid in bed last night from about 1.30, 1.40, all the way until a little bit after three with contractions. Um, nothing to make me go to the hospital or anything like that. They were not that painful. They were strong, they were uncomfortable, they were crampy but it wasn't enough to send me to the hospital. So I lay there wondering like, okay, is this going to turn into something? I was so tired, so sleepy, but I was thinking, okay, if this is early labor, I'm going to get up. I'm going to start just doing things around the house um, to see if they pick up or to see if they go away. But at about three o'clock, a little bit after three, I end up falling asleep. So if you fall asleep, obviously, and you don't wake up to any more contractions, you're not in true labor. So I fell back asleep and, um, I woke up at 6.30 this morning and got in the shower and really haven't had any this morning. Just a few, I guess, Braxton Hicks contractions, nothing nothing extreme. So I'm going to mention that to her this morning. Not sure if she's going to check for dilation or not. I think she wanted to start that next week at 38 weeks. But I will ask her. Anyway, I'm going to go in here and get checked out, and then I will update y'all when I get out. All right, so I am done at the doctor. Didn't take too long. Everything looked good. Blood pressure was fine. Baby sounded good. All good things. Um... She did check me for dilation. I told her about the contractions last time. I was a little bit disappointed though because I just thought for sure all of that was doing something. But I'm only dilated one centimeter, um, which I know I could go home and go into like full-blown labor. And that doesn't really matter. And some people stay four centimeters for a week or two. So it's it's all different. But as of right now, I'm only dilated to one centimeter. Um, and if I do not go into labor on my own these next two weeks, I will be induced on May 1st. So we got the date set for that. Um, I'm like in between, like I want labor to happen on its own before May 1st. And then also I kind of want to go in on May 1st and be induced. I'm like back and forth. I don't know. I just, both are great. So we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what the Lord has in store when this little guy's birthday will be. Um, anyway, that's just kind of the update today. It was just one of those quick appointments. I don't go back until next Tuesday at 38 weeks. So now I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A and grab some chicken minis. I'm stopping here at our little local Mennonite store. I'm going to grab some sandwich meat. This is usually where we get our sandwich meat here, our Ingles. Um, I need some more oats to make oatmeal. I'm also going to be making a lactation cookie soon, so I need some stuff in there um, for that as well. All right, I'm going to show y'all what I got real quick. We've never tried this, but I got this um, Bob's Red Hill brownie mix for us to try. I got some brown sugar, some of these veggie chips. Um, this is something that I need for the lactation cookies. It's flaxseed meal golden. So I got that. I got some milk chocolate chocolate chips. And then our sandwich meat, our turkey, our ham, our Swiss cheese, some more oats. I need to fill my jar up. We just emptied it last night. Um, used the last little bit. Some more maple syrup and then i got these turmeric lemon orange for josh to try um he was taking turmeric there for a while so i thought maybe he would like these so i'll let him try those and that is what i got in there that's a little while later now it's about four o'clock it is hot out here i probably should have changed out of my long sleeve shirt but i didn't so i still got it on um once we got home and had lunch and cleaned up 
did some chores. We actually had to run out again earlier. We went, um, my three older girls, there's this consignment store they like to go into. It's got more of like the teenage clothes in it. So they went in there and found a couple of things. And then I had a Duncan gift card from Christmas, y'all. I forgot about it. It's been my wallet. Um, I got it back in December. So we went by and used my Duncan gift card. I didn't get anything from there. Um, Kylie got a coffee and I got all the kids a donut. And I actually went to Smoothie King for myself and got a smoothie with dates in it. Um, Cause I'm gonna try some dates. I'm gonna try some red ra raspberry leaf tea, things like that the next couple of weeks just to help just to help things um, for when I do go into labor because those are all good things to do before labor starts. So I had some dates today. I'll probably go get some raspberry leaf tea tomorrow. I should have got it today when I was in the little men that store because they have some, but I didn't. So I need to get some of that. Um, we've got baked potatoes going in the oven. We're having grilled pork chops, baked potatoes, broccoli, possibly some mac and cheese for dinner tonight. And we'll start all of that here soon. day it's a Wednesday it is one o'clock I ran out real quick I've had a hair trim scheduled for today um I miss my layers I used to have layers in my hair and the last time I got it cut um I think she like cut the layers out I had I had went to somebody new that I don't normally go to um so I'm going to my hairstylist today and I'm gonna get my layers back get my bangs over here trimmed up just a little bit just get everything trimmed up but I want to tell you about those pork chops last night so dinner was really good um, and normally we like marinate our pork chops in either barbecue sauce or Josh does some kind of like special recipe to grill them in. But last night I was thinking, we've had lemon pepper chicken several times. It is so good. And I was like, I wonder what lemon pepper would taste like on pork chops. So I looked up that um, and that is literally all we did is sprinkle lemon pepper on the pork chops, grill them. Y'all, they were the best pork chops ever now they did have a little bit of spice to it um some of the little kids didn't really care for that but they were good so if you like lemon pepper anything try lemon pepper pork chops they were delicious that's what we had for dinner tonight i think tonight that's what we had for dinner last night i said tonight um i think tonight i don't know i'm considering doing beef tacos or spaghetti or something quick before we go to church tonight i haven't completely decided yet um, but I got to go in here and get my hair trimmed real quick because when I leave here, I'm picking up, um, the girls at home because Holly has violin at 2.30. It's Wednesday, so it's violin day for her. So we'll go to violin and then go home, cook dinner, and then church tonight. So far, I've had no more signs of labor. I told y'all about the contractions in the middle of the night, the other night. So far, none of that has been going on anymore. Just lots of pressure, which is expected being over 37 weeks preg pregnant. So... Still don't know. We're just waiting and seeing. But I'm going to go get my hair trimmed real quick. All right, so we're back home now. Holly's been the violin everything. I got her to go ahead and just kind of like wave curl my hair while I was in there. But it feels so much better with the trim. But when I got home, I had a package waiting on me. I ordered this from Amazon. It's called LMNT. It's Electrolyte Drink Mix. I've tried these in the past and really don't care for them at all. Um, but this one was recommended to me. And I thought, I'm going to try it. So it comes in the flavor citrus salt, raspberry salt, orange salt, watermelon salt. So I just filled up my cup and I put ice in it with water. I filled it all the way up with water because I didn't know how it was going to taste. And I chose the watermelon salt and mixed it in with all of this water. Y'all, it is so good. Like, it is delicious. I could, these are the ones I could actually drink. Um, no sugar, low carbs. I'm actually trying this because, you know, I wanted to try the lactation cookies to try and help milk production and things. And I heard this is really good for that, having more electrolytes. Um, so if you're looking for one that's actually tasty, like I've tried the liquid IV and I don't care for those at all, but Josh likes them. So, um, but these are the ones that I like. So I'll link these down below if you want to try them. They're from Amazon, like I said, and it comes with 12 sticks. So I'm excited about these because it's one that I actually like. 
But anyway, y'all, we've got to start getting ready for church and leave here soon. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog out here. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us again. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for you leave today. Give this video a thumbs up for you leave, and we will talk to you in the comments. Bye, friends.